looks like a little spaceship. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Fire in the hole. Okay, well, well done. Pose. Don't worry, boys. I'll be here all day. That's awesome. <laughs> you want back smash? Oh yeah. Look at that. Slagged up still. Oh yeah. Let's get started, shall we? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fall in. Okay. Like we're gonna have the Marines and the Navy and the guys from Hawaii. You guys line up in the normal, and then we're gonna use guys flamethrowers. Oh, yeah. See how you do. Fall <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in, gentlemen. We're gonna go into four separate teams: A, B, C, and D. Right? Okay. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. A, T, pull in. We need that. We need these. We're going to go through and show you guys the materials that we're going to play with today. All right? A lot of fire and cigarette if you want. <laughs> we had a bunch of people really get soggy. Yeah, that cord got it. Perfect. Hey, Jack. If we cut this stuff, there will go to the TSA. Cram a cap like this and pop it in that breech. And then this guy slides in like this. And this goes up like this. And then there's two holes right there. And so what you would do is you take the shock tube and run it through those two holes, make a nice big loop and poke it in here. And it goes in here about a quarter of an inch. Um, they're about 179 bucks. Do that and lock it up. But so it has a spring loaded firing pin. So we would do this the same way we did the blasting machine. We do our countdown, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fire in the hole and pop that firing pin, and it hits that um, that cap and makes a pretty good pop. And then that energy goes through the shock tube. So here's the trick to this, and I learned this the hard way. You're pointing it down range, and when you snap that, you're snapping it like this, and you'll see a big pop. And a lot of times the tube will actually pop out of the end. The other trick to using these is before you shoot them, you just you make sure it's all the way in. I've shot him before, and if the line isn't all the way in, it'll pop out. And everyone's sitting there watching you, and the line's sitting on the ground, and you know, it goes bang, but nothing happens. Okay, come on up. Who's our first shooter for these? Okay, first of all, look what I found. Is this live or not? Let's test that. You yep. see that puff of gray come out yep. of there? I saw it. Uh, where are you going? And it's yep. gone. That's, That's all there is. Much. Yeah. Could you can see it in the air, like I said, I use my watch or something where it shoots on something black, and that gives you that indication there. But, yeah, yep. yeah, try, but you all saw that puff of cloud came out, right? Yep. That's a live line. Okay, there, here you go. Apply this guy in. So that goes in roughly like that far, a little over a half inch. So I'm going to let you do that now. Now let's make your loop a little bit bigger so it's a little bit uh, smoother. Yep. Explosives doesn't like to go around sharp turns. It likes big loops. Okay. Now pin it down so it's facing the right direction. Uh, Just like that. So go ahead and, and give me a countdown and shoot that off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. There it is. Didn't even pop out of the end. Any questions on that, you guys? Anyone else want to try it? It's riveting. Right you. Here, Jack. 
very nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Aim, aim for the target, huh? Yeah. All right. So then what we do, whatever we, we work on down here, we get everything all set up. We have an inspection. Everything looks good. And then we back out without tripping on anything. Yeah. All right. Get out of the way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fire in the hole. It sure did. So you can see the caps peeled away where the energy comes off the tip of that cap. It's literally curled back, right? Not much left of that bad boy, is there? I mean, it looks like it almost got hit with a 410 shotgun or something, right? It's really, really peppered. And that's a number eight cap. That's one of the smaller ones. So that we do this, so you guys respect the power coming out of those blasting caps. It's a lot. And that's why we always want to follow the protocol of getting them pinned down, always pointing in a, a safe direction, not pointing them at anybody else. Sorry, okay, there you go. Here's the cap for B. Okay. All right. So, someone else on B, come on down. Someone's got to tender the reel, and someone else has got to walk it out. Yeah, you'll be going down. Jack will be heading down pretty soon. There you go. And we're going to do a half hitch knot on that. So you're going to make a loop like that. Yep, exactly. Big knot. Rabbit ears. Like that. Alright, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire in the hole. So you can see the orange flash off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Dead cord in that. So you can tie a knot. Yeah, you can tie that off. And let's move it up towards the top here. Jack, what's the grain count on this deck? 50. Cord? This one's 50. The green is typically 25. And then this is 50. There you go. So go ahead and tie that off. And just leave yourself, a, you know, room for a tail, but like tie it off like right here maybe or somewhere where you got room to uh, make a little pocket to put that cap. And then we're gonna put the cap right in that groove pointing into the shot, okay? You don't have to wrap it up too tight because you got to come back and undo it. And that yellow tape is old. That's funny. Some old stuff. So make sure you got some tape on the sand. And so that's nice and tight there. And it's not going to shift and shoot off. It's going to go right into those two lines. There you go. Pin that baby down. Make sure those rabbit ears are sticking out like he's touching. Uh, we're going to bump it up beyond that. Good. Yeah, we're going to get bigger. The cap roll. So you got deck cord coming out of the end. So off the top. Off that, which is yeah. Presumably they got a knot there. Well, I, I'm, it probably. Yeah. We're going to do like we did over there. We kind of fold this in a loop and tape it into the loop. So is this close enough or what? Well, we gotta, we're going to tape it in right here. I see. Because this, this, this cord is exactly the same deck cord we just shut on the top of that okay. log. It's actually uh, the same grain and everything. Okay. Uh, so like correct. over there, well, not, we had a little loop and we taped it in right there. And we'll do that here. We'll pop that guy right there and tape it all up. And then this is that, that way it shoots top dead center. And then as it works down, it builds. Yeah. And it also allows more pressure to go downwards into the rock mm -hmm. because right now we've got an open air blast, you know. Yeah. 
So Jack, this is a boulder buster, right? It's a rock crusher. Rock crusher. A rock okay. crusher. Yeah, by a company called Austin Powder. All Makes right. These. So it's a one pound charge of a material called RDX. And that saves from having to even drill a hole. That's the idea. Because drilling is hard work. So yeah. this way you can just set one or two or three or four of these charges on the very large rocks. And the energy goes into those rocks and breaks them up nicely. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Hey, look at there. The kind of spin you need on it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So you guys, you can see that one pound really did a number on that, right, guys? Look at that. You want to do the cap? Sure. Just crushed it up into lots of little pieces. It looks like cookie dough, man. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks does. just like cookie dough. Mm, the slurries are even more so. That's, the guys call those things dog turds, actually. Here's some chocolate chips in there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe pieces of, uh... It wouldn't be enough. It would probably be actually almost yeah, three or four sticks of dynamite to make up the difference. So we're using six sticks for an extra punch. Hell yeah. Yeah. Are you putting it on those rocks? I want to watch yeah. them go. You're going to show us how to do it. Two degrees? You can do 42. There you go. You remember the... Or if we'll stay together. Yeah, put a little 42. That, the trick is just not to push the captain then too far. But I've got the size down to where a lot of times in these charges, shape man or improvised shape charges, you'll put the, the uh, cap in too far. So now you can just take your debt, slide it through either side, and set it where you want it to be, and then just put it on top of your charge or tape it or whatever you, you want to do. You have to tape it on, huh? So it doesn't yeah. tip over a little bit. So it gets everything right in, in the dead center yeah. of what you're working with. Yeah, so nice. And the funnel works well too because it has that neck on the end. And that gives you some leeway too to get the cap pointing in the right direction without going all the way through. I'm making it too pretty. I'm uh, it looks playing nice. with it too much. Man, it looks good. You probably heard that before, but you know, yeah, yeah, we won't yeah. get into that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that is peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter cookie right there. That's my first shape charge I ever put together. I've shot them off the munitions, but I've never. Yeah. That's the awesome. scary thing is how easy they are to do. You know? What we'll do is we'll set this stuff right here. And kind of set that right over the top of it. And then that disintegrates all of our paper and stuff. So beautiful. Beautiful guys. Okay, let's pin that cap down. Hide in. What we leave? Put it down. Uh, it's gonna need to go a little bit just to get in. Get, get probably about here, so probably go all the way to the, yeah. the call. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. You don't want to steal the thunder from me, huh? Approved. Yeah. It just keeps the when you're doing improvised charges, it keeps the debt at a at a uh, depth, so you're not over pressing it in and it keeps it flat so you're top dead center on whatever it is that you're shooting. Okay. I mean it's, you don't really need it for anything but improvised charges but you ten nine eight seven six five four three two one black the cap well. Through the through well and get the cap well. There you go. Tight. Pull it. Do it. So he's got a 
booster with the cap under a helmet. So that's what we're gonna blow up next. Okay, so it's a magneto-based system. Yeah, out of New York. Well, <laughs> my first one. <laughs> so, so the advantage is there's no battery, right? It's a magneto. You crank your own electricity by cranking a handle. So this is a three pound charge, guys. It's gonna be loud. Please put some earplugs or use your fingers or something. It's gonna be loud. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. Hey, look at there. The kind of spin you need on it. <laughs> That was a nice flash. I'm uh, a new way to split logs. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. Yep. So Still for crash helmet. Come on there, man. That thing's going to go. Oh, that's the beauty oh, oh, of oh, oh. Uh -oh. tie it up oh, or something. That's yeah. the beauty of that deck yep. board. It's just so versatile, powerful. Fred hasn't hooked up a cap yet. You hooked up a cap? Right, it's going to work this time and it's all going to go off. Oh, yeah. Captain Obvious over here. Tape in place here. Get that hoop out of there. Now yeah, hold this side. What do you think? You probably, probably would like to angle it a little bit. You'll get more wood, get more. More contact. Yeah, more sure. contact. Then, then yours will be just oh, upset. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There you go, oh, beautiful. Go. Now you like got that. a nice tail to cap into. Yep. Got it, can you reach? We're gonna put it in the middle of the deck cord. Okay. So then it's and then it's got an even right in the middle, so it's got the same direction of travel. So they go off exactly the same time. I don't, I don't know if you get that much time difference to do anything too crazy like that. And that deck board goes off so fast. But by having as close as possible, then by having those charges go exactly the same time. Something. Uh, oh. Yeah. Because then you got a chance to shower. And food. All right, you guys. We're gonna see if our GoPro survives this blast. And look at the distance to I'm that. Cut this in half here. There we go. Please survive, GoPro. <laughs> All right, we're on. Gotta do what we gotta do for All the right. shot. This is for you guys back home, so you get a better view than we do. GoPro is still there. Woohoo! Well, the expensive way of cutting a railroad tie in half. All right, Harry. GoPro survived, huh? Yeah, just fine. Okay. So like they make manufactured shape charges. This is just one of the ones that we use when we do improvised. I've never seen that done with aluminum cans. So that's pretty yeah. cool. You can do them with dip cans, wine aluminum. bottles. Yeah, yeah. I could yeah. honestly, I, yeah, I could probably punch through this steel without without even using a shape charge. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, from making yeah. a specific like C debt charge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, I mean, like, we're actually copper uh, uh, base. Copper is actually the best material for your, your wave shaper on the front uh, because it will flip and invert. But with thin metal like this, it's kind of, yeah, because it, it's more just giving you a shape than anything. Yeah, so you can do the same shape with, uh, with a wine bottle and glass. Okay. It's not like glass anyway. Like so it's not <laughs> using <laughs> Not so much. It, it's more just providing shape. Uh, copper is what you want every single time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 
Nice, good looking uh, offset you guys made there. Okay, let's grab the. Oops, you guys, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's grab these plates and head down range. Yeah. Gotcha. What do you think about setting this up right on top of that log? It's like a little spaceship. <laughs> all right. I get to do this all the time. Just poke it in the top. Yeah. Face yeah. Down. So what you're gonna want to do is just like you don't really want to go too deep in here. You just want to have it in there and then have it secure so it's straight up and down within that mound. Gotcha. That's what the mound's there for. Okay. So you can get that initiation. So it'll spread out and initiate everything behind that cone, just straight down. Awesome. Half inch steel. Let's tie in first. Yeah. You would And that, that one little <laughs> booster just split the heck out of it. That yeah. little bit of tamping, whatever is tamping on it. Three minutes! Three minutes! Okay. Three minute eggs! Three minute eggs! Okay, yeah, everybody good? good? One, one minute? One minute. One minute. Came from that. Hey, Zach, let's get a picture for the girls back home. Yeah. All right, on your countdown, sir. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fire in the hole. Oh, so much for that log. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, well done. Don't worry, boy, they'll be here all day. That's awesome. <laughs> you want back, sir? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Slagged up still. Oh, yeah. That aluminum did nicely with that. Can oh, yeah, you can still kind of see it. Rad. Come on. Come on. Who's this little one? Who's this little one? Hey. 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 No. Okay, what is happening here? So we're, what we're going to do is we're make a linear sheep charge to see if we can cut through this plate and see if we can find a way to maybe cap it with this 50 grain deck cord in the sun just long enough where it's just starting to warm up a little bit and get a little more pliable. Is that three quarter inch steel? Well, yeah, I would say so, huh? Looks like it. Looks pretty close to that. Yeah, when the sun heats it up, it definitely helps. It definitely it's helps. It's like really cold outside. It, oh, it's hard. Yeah. It's Man, look, uh, Matt's making a custom uh, Yuli knot there in the middle. It looks like, huh? <laughs> Yeah. And even like our time is we'd, we'd have our students in the morning, we'd do a test burn to see yeah. how long it takes to do a six foot section. And sure. we do it in the afternoon and they see how how much shorter the time is and how time is kind of important. So depending on the temperature, it can really have that variance in what you're trying to do. So you're going to have to plan ahead. If you know it's cold, it's going to take you longer. Yeah. yeah. Or just walk, walk a little faster in the afternoon. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Never heard another word. I didn't realize the heat made it go faster. That's interesting. Since we're not using this after all. And then, yeah, if you get a whole bunch of like old dynamite and it's really hot and it stops getting really soft and you're punching and shit's just spilling everywhere. Yeah. Luckily, we don't have to mess with dynamite. Yeah. Because we get students will be punching and they're nervous going through their hands. Okay. All right, finish, finishing touches right there. All right. So, guys, we have a C4 charge we're going to shoot up next. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain how this works? So I always, well, you know, the 
direction of detonation. You're going to hit that. How much C4 is it? Uh, it's a, it's a uh, three quarter inch. So three quarter inch yeah. steel. Okay, yeah. my turn over here. Smile. Do that same thing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's. One minute warning! One minute, one minute chicken! One minute chicken! Good. Alright, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! That never gets old. Never. <laughs> yeah. Do we have two pieces or one piece? Let's see. Oh. We're almost there. Close. We almost sheared it. Yeah, it's basically through. It just made a taco out of it, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. A little bit of copper might have been. Yeah, it would have been nice, huh? Pull it up. always likes to make things harder for me. Watch your eyes, it's not redeemed. So what did you notice when you were taking measurements? Were What's they up? all about like three feet. point, three and a half feet deep or four foot? Yeah, about three, three two to three six. Okay, all right. Got pretty good depth.
you check this line and see if it's good or not? Okay, last time, last shot we did. Yeah. How do you activate it? Let's see, I got a recording now. So yeah. you're good. Down the hole she goes. We got a couple buckets of stemming over there, but we're gonna put some sticks on top first. Where to hit bottom? Yep, nice. That's what you want. Here's a little thud on the bottom. Last time we did. Um, last time we did a, a, a stick and a half, and it was perfect. Thank you, sir. So we're gonna try that again. We used a stick and a half and it was perfect, and so we'll do that again. We've got some half sticks over here, we got eight holes, so we cut four sticks in half, and then we're going to need uh, eight full sticks. We'll drop those down and we'll measure and see where we're at, make sure we've got enough room for some stemming on top, tie it in, and shoot it. Right. Let's do the full yeah. stick first. Let's, here's the deal with this, guys, to keep it straight because it's a little confusing. Let's drop a stick, a half a stick, and then we'll put a bottle on the top to know that's been loaded. So drop a half down on those two. Okay, now we're going to bottle those up. We don't, what we don't want to do is overload them, right? That's about how uh, oh, yeah. this one's coming on. Yeah. 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 Which one yeah. just got topped yep, this one. Good. Right. For two half sticks. You need two half sticks here. These two. Do you need more bottles for those? Well, I'll use my water bottle. Right here, Jeff. Half sticks. Right here. Still drinking that water, by the way. You got this one. I mean, you're still holding full sticks. A well oiled machine. I watched him do that. It's like the shell game. You effed it up. Yeah, I want to do them like a little more systematically than that. Well, I might have. I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> it's two and a half feet. Er, two and a half? Two, three. Huh? Okay, all right. right all right. One foot ten. Okay. You have two? And you drop your powder in until it hits the bar. Two foot? So okay, good. Let's get this guy, maybe they're okay. Let me go around and check your hand. You can put them out. Foot and half. Like foot and half. Like Woo! Okay. Uh, like spicy. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wasn't even, I was away from the car. Watched it out there. Two, two. Okay. Stimming is important. Flat baseline. The amount of HE I have in here is the amount of stemming I want, or is it just like. It. Mm. Okay, make sure that it doesn't fall in. Yeah, it's nice and ideal. Good stuff. What's hole number one, do you think? This guy. This guy right here, point of initiation. That makes sense to me, right? So what we'll do, and I'm going to show you to do it, but I, I don't want to do it. I want you guys to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to run our fingers through this with both hands. Like a lot of times on a mine site or something, it's the only time you don't have to wear gloves because you want to be able to feel this because this stuff is really tough until it's not. If it gets stepped on on a sharp enough rock, he'll slice right through it. Mm. And by running your fingers like that, I've got no nicks or cuts in this guy at all. You come over here, and you can hear it pop. Hear that snap? Slide down. And that's what that baby should look like. So what we'll do, this is gonna be row one. These three shots are gonna be row one. So the delays, what? what? What are the delays on these? Okay, yeah, good question. Let's have a look. They're 25 over 350. 25 okay, so they're 25 millisecond. Yeah, so if you divide 25 into 350 is 14. 14 caps are burning ahead of themselves before the first one goes off. That means in this pattern, they're all burning before the first one goes off because we've got eight holes, right? Okay, so this is row number one. 
So someone come in here and tie these guys in. So you're going to tie these in and then this uh, cap here is going to just go off this direction because that's going to be your paddle tail. All right. Now we got row number two. We've got a little ziggy zag in row number two, but we're going to go there to there. Yep. There, there. Here. Yeah, we've got a little little zigzag, but we can run that row out. The, so, yeah, go right across here part. with those four. Yeah. This one's got to go last. And see, if all the rows are super neat and even, it's easy, but if the drill, drillers get creative, then you have to stop and think about, okay, now what? Yeah. I did my part. That's why you don't let me in there in your part. I do my part. How do you initiate the back row? So how do you tie it into one, two, three, and then what if that one came back over into that one? We would do Yeah, like on a face. And then five, six, seven, eight. And the direction of movement should all be going in this direction, which is absolutely perfect because we're on the opposite direction over there, right? But now we got to tie in these rows. Yeah, if we want, then we need and ideally, we'd want about 42 there. milliseconds. I don't have 42 millisecond surface connectors, so we're going to use 25 caps, and I cut the cap off the end. So how this works is like this. This guy comes down here like it's a regular surface connector. And a lot of guys will do, if the, if the line's been cut, they'll put a knot on the end. This guy ties in here, and now this is going to jump up and tie in. Will you tie that in right there? The question though, okay. it was something that we were talking about. If that tattletail is going off, that's on the third shot. Don't you want that to be after the last shot? So each row has a tattletail. Oh, okay. Each one does. Oh, yeah, Good question. Does Okay, okay. That makes so which you could cut those off and use them to connect them too, if they're the right. And that's what, that's what I kind of did. And then yeah. you, just yeah. wouldn't, you just wouldn't have. Yeah, see, now we got three tattle tails. Yeah, we got one, 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 one for each row. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, one for each row. One at the end. Okay, yeah, leave this it. one, cut those off. Gotcha. Okay, so now this one is going to, the, the second tattle tail that Matt has, someone grab that, take the tail and tie a knot in it. And, and clip three. that tail right into that to block. Yeah, you know which which row it was in. Okay, one's now that one left then left goes left. back to the, the first hole in row three. And and it's good to have eyeballs on this. And what we do is we, we walk the shot and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. That looks perfect. So then we trace it. We're going to put one cap right here. This is our POI. Bang. One, two. Three. Then that line gets energized and goes back and shoots hole number one in row two. It goes to that hole. Now it'll catch on fire depending on how this has got to go from there to there, right? That looks good. Okay, now that line's energized, goes back to row three that fires these two holes. We get, we get All right. That makes sense, you guys? Beautiful. Yep. Get a shot with you guys there. That was awesome. That's why we're here, right, Fuzzy? <laughs> Blowing stuff up. Shots all clear. Come on down. Shots all clear. 
So now we're gonna go inspect the blast site. Let's see how it did. <laughs> that was a great spot for the GoPro over there. We're back. Hey, there's Joe, a new hole perfect, here. Guys. Oh, wow. That's perfect. Yeah, right? Nice. So what I did is I came around the corner awesome. and I looked at all these blasted caps and the three paddle tails over here on the right, all shot. Stuff out there, everything's shot. The hole looks just like it's just perfect. That breaks it up. Yeah. 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 Except we don't have to do any mucking this time, so I like it. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. And our jaw crusher could probably take all of those. Eh, maybe not that one over there, but yeah. Yeah. Got a 16 by 8. That'll eat it up. Yeah. Nice. Actually worked out great. Neck. Okay. You're okay. Act like we're walking. Look badass. Look badass. Step with your left Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Fire in the hole. <laughs> you graduated, man. Finally, you graduated. Finally. Just in case. Hey, I wanted to thank you for, the, you know, the class. And uh, we really, if, if you mind. So I'm here with Matt. Uh, thank you for the class, you know, teaching us how to safely use explosives, um, understanding low and high explosives and detonators. So hope you made we made you proud oh yeah yeah you guys Architect. did fine that's everybody's got to start somewhere yeah you know so we got to start somewhere and then we're going to be able to take these skills back to our our own underground gold mine and use them yep. so thank you very much no problem thank you so harry and i we want to thank jack at american explosives group we absolutely enjoyed this blasting class excellent um if you guys are interested in getting your blasting license be sure to contact jack with American Explosives Group and learn more. We had a blast to say the least. <laughs> what a day, it's perfect day right here in, in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Yeah. And how'd yeah. we do yeah. as students? Yeah. Did we do okay? We did great, you guys all, you all passed. It's kind of a pass or fail thing really, and you, <laughs> and you all passed. So it's great, we had a perfect day actually. Yeah. We got yeah. to drill, we got to blast. Now we're gonna be able to take these skills back to our underground mine and uh, show you how to extract some gold ore. Love it. And the end of the day is harder. Yeah, it's so much harder. <laughs> um, so if you guys like this video, please crush that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Fire in the hole. One. Black. Fire in the hole. Okay, now stop. <laughs> <laughs>